everybody, I think I know why you're here today. It's because it's shopping That's day. That's right, and you made a deal. It is shopping day. Yeah, yeah, we do the history, and then we go, go shopping. You know, Guadalajara has the best mariachis, so. There'll be mariachis. That's right, there will be mariachis. I love mariachis. Let's go. The guy loves his special effects. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, everyone. So, you know, I've come to the conclusion I've been, I realize I've been traveling quite a while now. I've been to several cities, a, a lot of vacation destinations. And I think the, the added value that you take is, you know, what do I feel about these cities compared to each other? So I've come up with a little scoring system. Uh, I've come up with some items that I'm gonna score. Um, five gringos, I guess I'll call it that, I don't know. For, you know, for example, Puerto Vallarta, the city I just came from, they would get five gringos for friendliness. That was one of the most friendly cities that I've been to. So since I'm in the city of Guadalajara right now, I'm gonna rank this city with uh, however many gringos and see what kind of a score we'll come up with. So stick around to the end of this video and find out Guadalajara's gringo friendly overall score. I am here in Zapopan. You know, initially when I was making plans, people were advising me to, to stay here. And uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't. It, it's a little out of town. There's, uh, they said there was a lot of shopping to be done here. And I'm not, I'm not seeing it so much. So I'm gonna take a look around. Maybe I'm just uh, limiting myself to three or four blocks here in, uh, in El Centro, this Zapopan. Don't you just love the names of the towns here? Zapopan, Taquepaque. I don't know. It's hard at first, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy to pronounce. So um, I'm gonna take around, take a look around, and see if I can find some shopping for y'all. I was very wrong about Sapopan. <laughs> What's new? Wrong again. What I thought was a small little Mexican town. Sapopan turned out to be the second largest city in the state of Jalisco. It has three major shopping malls. It has a university. It has a brand new soccer stadium called Akron Stadium for the professional soccer team, the Chivas. So yes, you can find the traditional tour shopping around the church and in the center plaza, but you also have mall shopping. So we're gonna move on to Tlaquepaque, where the shopping is extraordinario. First, let me thank Noemi, my third cousin once removed, for introducing me to Tlaquepaque and everything that surrounds it. Tlaquepaque was built for shopping. It is a haven for whatever degree you wanna shop. You want souvenirs, you want high-end furniture, whatever you're looking for. It is here in Tlaquepaque. As you may already know, in every town in Mexico, there is a church or churches to be amazed by. They're all beautiful. In addition to these churches, Tlaquepaque offers museums, small museums free of charge. There's a carnival for the kids to play. The nice thing about it are the restaurants, the music, the entertainment, the ice cream, even the fire water. You can find it in Tlaquepaque.
Oh, I promised you mariachis. While you're in Flaque Paque, you have got to go to the restaurant El Patio, since it is here that they have the best mariachi show. They not only have the mariachis, but they bring their own dancers. In Mexico, they call that a dos por uno. El Patio has incredible drinks. The food's pretty good too. But the staff here is also very English friendly. $55 for the two of us, including drinks. The patio is worth every peso. Here is another great Tlaque Paque restaurant that I highly recommend. It's called Real de San Pedro. They have one of the best chicken mole that I've had in a long time. The service is first rate, but what I loved the most was the music. The music was provided by the band Trio Iberoamerica. They were fun, they were engaging, and most of all, they were highly skilled musicians. Go see Trio Iberoamerica at the Real de San Pedro. First chance you get. Um, I've got 10 categories. Are you ready for this? This is how I score Guadalajara. So, things to do and see. Guadalajara, you get five gringos. Two weeks is not enough. Uh, there's so much to do, in, not only in the town, but in the surrounding areas as well. Five gringos, nicely done. Quality eateries. There are some places in this neighborhood that I have fallen in love with. Uh, not only the food, the food has been smashing. But the service has been awesome. You know, I've actually made friends with the people that have worked there. So, um, yeah, five gringos for eateries in Guadalajara. So, friendliness, helpfulness of the locals for gringos. You know, sometimes I go into places and I pretend like I know, know Spanish just to see how they're, how they're going to respond to me. They get four. That's a score of four, which is, you know, is good. Prices. Three gringos on prices because with big cities come big prices. <laughs> the mall that's across the street from me, uh, actually it, some of the stores are a little over my price range. So they, they charge a little more than I would like to spend on a few items. So three for prices. Air quality. Now, I, I don't know, this was a tough one for me. This is a huge city. This is the second largest city in Mexico. So you would think you would have a Mexico City air quality problems. Since we're in the summer months, you get a lot of storms that keep circulating the air for you. I haven't had any problem here. I don't think it's fair for me to give it a five because, you know, I'm not as sensitive to air pollution like some people. I do get some allergies, but while I've been here, I've been perfectly healthy. Um, air quality, I'm gonna give it a four. If anything, is because they try very hard. There are, there's electric trolley buses that is utilized. I don't know if you noticed in a previous video, but in, in El Centro Historico, they have bus, sorry, they have horse buggies, but they also have electric buggies, horseless buggies to drive around the, the tourists. So they should get a point, at least for effort. So four points for air quality. Okay, safety, this is a big one. In any direction where I'm located, I felt very safe, very comfortable walking through day or night. I didn't encounter any problems. I have heard that in Centro Historico, you don't want to be there at night. I don't know, I've never been there at night. So if you're a smart tourist, you're never gonna have that problem. So for safety, I'm gonna give Guadalajara five gringos. Honestly, I, I've been very impressed. Cleanliness, cleanliness, I'll just tell you now, Guadalajara gets a five. Uh, they do a great job keeping the streets, keeping the areas clean. There's a lot of people employed to keep this city clean, and it shows. And no matter what area I've been in, it's very clean. Uh, transportation, traffic, you know, again, a huge city, a lot of traffic. I don't think I've been in a traffic jam. I've been in some slowdowns, but traffic is always moving. They do a great job with the public transport system. There's a lot of buses available. I'm on a major road here and it is always moving. If there's a little congestion, there'll be a traffic police out there just to move things along. So five, you get five points, Guadalajara, for traffic. Nicely done. 
The next two categories are really dear to my heart, so you guys, you tell me in the comments below how, if you agree or not, whether or not these last two categories are very important to you as a gringo coming to a Mexican city, a major Mexican city. So here we go. English TV, does your hotel or wherever you're staying provide you with one, two English stations? Where I'm at, zero. So your score, because every once in a while I'll get an English, uh, an English movie that I care not to watch from the 90s and 80s. So you're gonna get two, Guadalajara. Two for English speaking TV. And the last category, public bathrooms. I was shocked at the, oh, there's the stadium. I had 20 minutes to catch a bus and I needed to find a public bathroom. So I was asking around and everybody said, kept saying, you have to go in and you have to shop someplace to be of eligible to use their restroom. One police officer said, you see that place in the corner over there, that one store, the brown building? He was specifically saying, Esquina, Esquina, the corner. So I went to both corner places. No, nope, no, nope, you can't use our restroom. One was a bookstore, the other was a, uh, they, they sold church memorabilia, you know, Virgen de Guadalupe and crosses and crucifixes. So I hastily, quickly tried to find another place. There was a three-story Mercado there where the locals go and I saw signs where it says baños and direction, point, point direction, wherever. I followed these arrows and I couldn't find them. Finally, I grabbed a hold of a local and I asked him personally, ¿Dónde está el baño público? And he pointed that direction, showed me the door. I walked up two levels to that door. It was locked. So zero, Guadalajara. You guys need to do a better job with baño públicos. Mexico City, no problem. They're, they're around and they're clean. So yeah, lesson learned. So when I tally up the score, divide it by 10 categories. All right, 10. Guadalajara scores, drum roll please, 3.8, gringos. I think it would have been a lot better had it not been for that public bathroom snag in El Centro Historico, where all the tourists go. You can do better, Guadalajara.